We've all heard that the Big Bang was the moment the universe and time itself began. But if time had a beginning, can we even talk about it before? Let's explore theories from cosmology, quantum physics, and even the philosophical debates, but keep this question alive. About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began expanding from a singularity, an incredibly hot, dense point. This event not only created all matter and energy, but also space and time. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, time and space are part of a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. So, when the universe began, so did time. But here's where things get tricky. Time, as we experience it, is a property of the universe. It flows forward, and events are measured in seconds, minutes, and years. But according to relativity, there's no such thing as an absolute universal clock ticking in the background. Instead, time is relative. It can stretch, shrink, or even stop, dependent on factors like gravity and speed. So when we say that time began with the Big Bang, what we really mean is that our understanding of time, the way we experience it in this universe, started with that explosion of space and matter before the Big Bang. There wasn't space or matter or time, at least not in the way we know it. But even if Sayevs tells us that time started with the Big Bang, there's still the nagging question, what about before? This is where things get philosophical. Can something exist without time? Let's break it down. Time is what allows events to happen in sequence. First this, then that. If there's no time, there's no before or after no cause and effect. Without time, the concept of before becomes meaningless. So, when physicists say there was no time before the Big Bang, they mean there was no dimension of time for anything to happen in. Some philosophers, however, have argued that perhaps there was a timeless state before the universe, as we know it came into being. It's possible to imagine a state of being that exists outside of time, a reality where nothing changes and no events occur because time isn't flowing. This is a bit mind-boggling, but it's one way to approach the question without hitting the wall of scientific limits. Now let's shift gears to some scientific theories that propose the universe and time may not have had a single beginning. One such idea is the cyclical universe model. In this theory, the universe goes through infinite cycles of expansion and contraction like a cosmic heartbeat. According to this model, the Dit Bang wasn't the beginning of everything. It was just the latest in a series of bangs that happen when the universe collapses, which is also called a big crunch, and then explodes outward again. If this is the case, then time existed before our Big Bang, just in a different phase of the universe's life cycle. Time, in this sense, is eternal, stretching backward and forward through endless cycles of creation and destruction. But wait, how does this work with our current understanding of physics? Well, some cosmologists suggest that each cycle might erase or reset the conditions of the previous universe, so the universe we live in could be drastically different from the one before it. Time, then, wouldn't be a straight line but an infinite loop. This idea offers an exciting possibility that the before the Big Bang was just a previous version of our universe, with time flowing just as it does now. But what if time itself isn't as fundamental as we think? This is where quantum mechanics comes in, and things get even stranger. Some quantum theories suggest that time might not be an inherent property of the universe, but something that emerges from deeper, more fundamental processes. Stephen Hawking's no-boundary proposal is one such idea. In his model, the universe didn't begin with a singularity, a sharp point where everything starts, and with a smooth, rounded surface. In this model, the early universe didn't have a clear beginning, and time wasn't sharply defined at first. Instead, time gradually emerged as the universe expanded. In this case, asking about before the Big Bang doesn't make sense because time didn't exist in a clear way before the universe reached a certain stage. 
There's also the idea that time might be a byproduct of entanglement, an interaction between quantum states. In these models, time isn't a smooth river that flows endlessly. Instead, it's more like a fabric woven from countless quantum events. Time could be emergent, meaning it only becomes meaningful after certain quantum processes take place. If this is true, then the concept of a before the Big Ben might not just be wrong, it might be irrelevant. Another intriguing theory is the Big Bounce, which challenges the idea that the Big Bang was a singular event. In the Big Bounce scenario, the universe didn't start from nothing. Rather, it bounced from a previous collapsing universe. In this model, as the universe from a previous cycle reached a point of extreme contraction, it rebounded, leading to the Big Bang. This means there was a time before a Big Bang. Time existed in the universe that came before it. Instead of a sharp start, the universe continually bounces between phases of expansion and contraction. If the Big Bounce theory is correct, time could stretch infinitely in both directions, with no alternate beginning or end. Time might not have started with our Big Bang, but has always existed moving through cycles of universes. Some physicists go even further and suggest that time might be infinite. In this view, time didn't start with the Big Bang. The Big Bang was just one event in an eternal timeline. If that's true, then the Big Bang isn't the origin of everything. It's just another chapter in an endless story. This raises more questions. If time has always existed, what was it filled with before the Big Bang? Is our universe part of a larger, timeless reality that we simply can't perceive? These questions push the boundaries of both physics and philosophy, forcing us to confront the limits of what we can know. So was there a time before the Big Bang? The answer depends on how we define time and what model of the universe we're working with. One thing is clear. Our understanding of time is still evolving and as we continue to explore the mysteries of the cosmos, we may one day discover that time itself is more complex and more mysterious than we ever imagined.